Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you have enjoyed your weekend, whatever you have been up to. Sadly, I am now on my second period of isolation. My bubble at school has burst. One of the children have tested positive. Luckily, she is asymptomatic and so are her family. Um, but obviously, we've had to close the bubble and I'm now in isolation for 10 days. And I know I wanted to do some crafting this weekend, but I didn't even know where to start. It's fair to say I have well and truly lost my mojo. I didn't even know where to begin what to do um and then i just had so many ideas it just got a bit overwhelming so i just haven't crafted for ages and then last night i barely slept i was really poorly last night um with my uc and about three o'clock this morning i saw a video which was put up by craft purge one of her group swaps one of the embellishment group swaps that she's hosting at the minute and i can't remember the lady's name so i will link everything below but there was a lady that had made a sort of book using acetate I don't actually have any acetate but I really liked what she did so I kind of looked at what she did and then just made my own version and I've really enjoyed doing this and it just kind of gave me the inspiration to actually make something and also last night another video I watched by It's A Deal also here on YouTube and she had made some different Valentine's embellishments and I've never really crafted for Valentine's Day that much, so I thought this would be quite a new one to do. She'd made some like heart lollipops, so I've also had a go at doing those. So, I started with a 6x6 six by six paper pad, so I actually used, it's here, um, I actually used one of the Back to Basics ones. It's called Pretty in Pink. I'm not sure if I can find the front cover of this booklet, but it is called Pretty in Pink. And as I say, it's by Back to Basics. Can't see the front cover. Um... There it is. Can't remember who I said it was by, but it's a Dovecraft one. I think I said something else. Um, it's Dovecraft, back to basics, and then it's perfectly pink. Anyway, that's what I started with. And then I used some of my BB Craft tool. So I picked up, this is actually grey. I can't remember what I thought this was when I bought it, but I remember when it came, I thought this wasn't quite what I was expecting. But it's like a grey undertone with silver flakes in it. And I hadn't really done very much with it. So I used that as the spine instead of acetate. And then I did also use this elastic is from BB Craft, as are quite a few of the other elements. So I will sort of tag them because they did gift me those things. But I didn't do this, obviously, for that reason. But I do obviously have the things because they, it was gifted to me. So... If I just talk through the front, obviously I've got this rose paper here and then I just used some stickers from the Hobbycraft Love sticker book, the Love Hearts one. So it's just got BFF and I Love You. They didn't really stand out, but I couldn't peel them back off without ripping the paper. So then I used my Deco Premium paint pen, um, which I got the idea of this from Nurse Tara. She uses the, this and the gold one on almost all of her projects. So that's why I bought them. And the stickers at the front, if I just move these charms over, the stickers at the front, the mason jar and the hearts are also from that Love Heart pack. So I just put it on some holographic Miri Mac card and then this is pink Tesco card that was gifted to me by Kaj, Carol Ann, Kaj Crafts on YouTube. And then this pink paper she also gifted me. It's like a sticky back one. I can reach it. I can't reach it. It's under a load of stuff. Um, but that's also a, um, a gift. And then I popped this layer up on foam and then stuck that straight to the paper so that's the front and then I just finished off with a couple of large heart blings as I say I did make an elastic closure that pulls around um, and then on it I did you know I'm obsessed with charms so I did obviously make a charm so on this one I've just got two of these little Aliexpress heart beads with a little um, seed bead top and bottom just a pink one it's got a little silver jingle bell and then a little pink gummy bear at the bottom. I didn't want to go too overboard on this. Normally I add lots of charms, but I thought it needed to be a bit plainer because of the front of the book being quite busy. But then I also did wire wrap this flower. I used some BB Craft pink beads and then a white um, bead from Beads Direct that I've had in my stash for ages and just wire wrapped that. So that's my little charm on the front. And I did put that one on a lobster clasp so it can be taken on and off. So if the person doesn't want the charm on it, they don't need it. Um, and to get the um, the elastic through, I just used, you know those, um, I can't think what they're called, but it just helps you thread a needle. I just used that. So I'm, I am going to do a video where I make another one of these and sort of show you. But I wanted to get this up because some of you will be able to work it out yourself. Um, but if not, then obviously I am going to be doing a tutorial later on in the week. This is approximately four and a half inches wide by just under six inches tall. I did have to trim it slightly because it was slightly longer than the tall. 
tulle, tulle, however you say it. So if I take that elastic off and then I'll open it up and show you what it looks like inside. So as I say here, you can see that tool that I've used as sort of the, the spine. And the only thing that was a problem where I pulled the elastic through, it was bunching up. So I did just put a little strip of silver holographic um, card and then I've double backed that. So it's just about a centimetre wide and then folded it in the middle and it just stops the tool from bunching up. And then on this side, if I just take these out for a second, I'll tell you what they are in just a moment. I've just used a bit of Miri Matte Silver Holographic Card to make a belly band. I've just kind of folded it back on itself, made it about two centimetres wide. Um, if you've seen anything I craft with, I literally use this paper like it's the only thing in the world. It's my favourite thing to use. So I use it all the time and it fitted really well with the stuff that's on this side, which I'll explain in a minute. But just to show you these, this is what I saw on It's A Deal's channel. Um, well, I saw her version of these and I'm also going to do a separate video on how I made these. But it's just a straw cut in half and then an eyelet put through here. And then I've used quite a few scallop tarts. I've... Um, back them on white card in between so this one's got silver holographic at the front a smaller pink heart paper with a little clear gemstone in the middle and then I've added some charms on the side so I feel really distracted my phone won't stop buzzing with messages at the minute um, and then I've used another one of those clear hearts with the pink seed beads on a sort of short chain and then on a medium chain I've put a little sweetie with some sequins top and bottom. Please excuse how dry my hands are. Obviously I'm washing my hands a million times at school. But I've also been decorating the kitchen. Which is what I was doing yesterday. And if anyone is interested. I have been filming that. I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to see. But I have been kind of filming that. So I'll put that up anyway. And then those of you that want to see it. It's there. And then on the longest chain. I've got a little lollipop charm. That I got from AliExpress. And then just at the bottom of the straw. I've got a little pom pom that's been hot glued. And they're a bit longer I think. Than the ones that she made. Um, but I did just cut a straw in half and hope for the best so I can always trim them down next time oh and the back of that sorry just had that heart paper that was on the small one and then this is basically the same thing the only difference is the colour of the pom pom and the colour of the eyelet and then on this one I've used the patterned paper with a small silver heart and then plain silver on the back and then I've just used a light pink gem in the middle of this one and the charms are exactly the same but where these were a slightly darker pink these are a slightly lighter pink of the same thing so the heart with the seed beads a light pink and sort of lighter colored sequins and then a light pink lollipop and i just thought that was cute a lollipop on a lollipop thought that was really sweet i do have star lollipops but i thought the round one went better with the fact that these are hearts obviously and then on this side i made it a bit more like a book now i'm not sure if this needs a little finishing touch but because obviously the focus is these i didn't really want to put something too eye-catching here but i think i just need to finish it off maybe with a sticker or something i made a little bead um like what would you call it i don't know something to wrap the elastic round because it just wouldn't shut properly so i did on the back page just pop an eyelet through with a bit of an elastic and then made my own little handle with a bead from BB Craft and then just a little silver heart gemstone over the top. So that just peels off and then it opens like a book. And then I've just made a little bit of interest here with some off cuts of paper that I had. Obviously that's sandwiched between the two papers that I've got on this side. And then what I did here was kind of put in a few different things that somebody could use to make their own ones of these. So it's a bit like a kit. So I did just put this like puffy heart here that I've put an eyelet through. I've actually gone through so many eyelets today, I might have to order some. So I just thought that was really cool on the front. I've never made a tag flip. Um, so it's not a proper tag flip, but that's where I've got the idea from. So these are BB Craft bags. So in the first one, I've just put some gemstones. So there's some hearts, some sort of Valentine's colours and some roses. That's what I've used to do this as well. So that's what's in the first one. In the second one is a bunch of sort of Valentine's colours pom-poms. And then in the back one, there is only the three. I did have a fourth one that had some flowers in it, but it just became way too bulky. So I had to take that one out. So in the back of this one, there's some gemstones, just some silver hearts, because obviously there's darker colours in that one. So some silver hearts, a couple of different coloured pink straws cut in half already. And then here I've cut out a load of white scallop circles, silver ones, patterned ones, and smaller silver ones for somebody to make their own versions of these and I just thought that was really cute so as I say there's nothing behind them then and then what can happen whoever gets this 
what I was thinking that they can then do is if they take these bits out and make their own, they can obviously reuse the bags however they want, but they could put some little Valentine's pictures in here if they wanted, because this belly band will just pull off. And they could put some little photos, some journaling maybe, add some bits in here. Maybe if they, perhaps not this year, because no one can go anywhere for Valentine's Day, but perhaps in the past, if they've gone somewhere special, they might make a little pocket here and add tickets and memorabilia, that sort of thing. So yeah, so it's just like a little DIY kit. Now I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do actually with the Valentine's Day stuff that I'm creating. I think what I might do is just kind of collate it all together and then either choose some people and just randomly send or perhaps host some giveaways. So just bet, just keep your eye on my channel in case I do do that because obviously as much as this is lovely, I don't need to keep everything that I make because you just end up with a room full of stuff and it's nice to share it's nice to share with other people so yeah so I'm really happy with that that's made me feel quite good actually it did take me a little while because as I say it took me a while to get into it and the charms themselves take ages to make but I'm really pleased that I've now made something it's kind of kick-started me a little bit so throughout this week I am going to do as I say a tutorial on the lollipops a tutorial on the book and then I keep watching just different Valentine's Day videos and various different embellished videos embellishment videos I should say just for some inspiration because I'm not quite at a point where my brain is thinking of new things so although I've adapted this there was something I saw to start off with if that makes sense so I hope you enjoyed having a little look at this let me know if there's anything that you think would be really good for me to make and um, if it's something that you've made perhaps then obviously link your channel link your video if it's someone else then just tell me who to look for or the kind of project to look for and I will definitely have a little look and I can smell my hot dogs. <laughs> Let's just boiled up some hot dogs for dinner. We're not really very hungry, so just a little snack instead. Oh, and I think I just forgot to mention these are some of my favourite gems. They are from Hobbycraft, and I just put them in the corners because it would not be something from me without bling, let's be honest. And then all I've got on the back is just my little handmade by Crafty Little Amy logo because there was nothing, no need to kind of embellish the back. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling now, let you enjoy the rest of your evening. I'm going to go and enjoy my hot dogs. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.